I cannot stand how the news has been dogging Gen Z and calling them lazy for not wanting to work a nine to five for the rest of their lives. Let me put it in perspective for everybody who's a little confused here, okay? I work five days out of the week, 40 hours a week, okay? I do not make enough to live on my own. I would not make enough to pay rent, water, electric, and eat. Y'all do still have we opportunities, okay? Um, you can go to any type of trade school, get some kind of, you know, certification or whatever under your belt. Like, they have so many opportunities, and I'm tired of these kids with these excuses. Like, literally, I didn't have my daughter say something to me before. Oh, yeah, when you was, when you was, when you first started renting, your rent was a dollar. No, the hell it oh, wasn't. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Jesus <Yeah>. Christ. <laughs> we in the house in 1940. <laughs> First of all, second of all, all, you ain't say that when you made that man wait five years. What man? Oh yeah, now 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 she might like if, if any man waited five years. What man I made wait five years? <laughs> I don't know what kind of dope he was. On. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dope was I on? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's go to video number five, y'all. <laughs> so video number five: Wal a Walmart <laughs> worker has a breakdown calling out Gen Z for being lazy. Well, she Gen addresses Z. working 40 hours a week and can't afford to live alone. What? Oh, gosh. This is that peanut that kicked the last video off. It is this strong podcast. Oh. Let's go. I cannot stand how the news has been dogging Gen Z and calling them lazy for not wanting to work a nine to five for the rest of their lives. Let me put it in perspective for everybody who's a little confused here, okay? I work five days out of the week, 40 hours a week, okay? I do not make enough to live on my own. I would not make enough to pay rent, water, electric, and eat. All by myself. I would not be capable of doing that. 20 years ago when you were getting started, you could live on your own. 20 years ago when you first started, you were able to do everything that I am now struggling to do. Let me add another perspective here. You've been working for 20 years. You have 20 years of working experience behind your belt. You have 20 years of experience in a career that has allowed you to gain raises, to get more money, to profit you in an economy that you created. You can sit here and you can call Gen Z lazy all you want, but I've been working my tail end off just to barely make it by. And respectfully, I don't want to do that for the rest of my life. I don't want to work my tail end off, wasting all of my life working just to barely be able to pay my bills. And that is what you created, not Gen Z. We're just here getting started. You've been doing it for the last 20 years. You tell me how it got ruined. We can sit here and we can call Gen Z lazy all you want, but you let the economy turn into what it did. You let it all run to hell. And now it's Gen Z's fault because we don't want to work to fix your mistakes. Take a step aside, you young snap. No, I, snap. I, mean, I ain't had nothing no, to do with no, that. No, no, it don't. It don't. Because, yeah, granted, yes, we have years of experience, but also at the same time, y'all do still have we opportunities. Put that work in. Okay? Um, you can go to any type of trade school, get some kind of, you know, certification or whatever under your belt. Like, they have so many opportunities, and I'm tired of these kids with these excuses. Like literally, I didn't have my daughter say something to me before. Oh yeah, when you was when you was when you first started renting, your rent was a dollar. No, the hell it oh, wasn't. Oh shit! Damn. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ! We're in the house in 1940. <laughs> <laughs> but still, like, granted, at the end of the day, like, we are struggling too. Like, mm -hmm. you know, things are expensive for us too. You know, we still had like literally I went to the market. And I'm like, damn, what the hell did I buy for eighty three dollars in one bag? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In one yeah. bag. Yeah, I have so a bag like, of potatoes and shit. <laughs> like I have skills, I have degrees and certifications and all that stuff, but we all going through it right now. So granted, yes, I do understand for y'all, you know, and which is why I say, Okay, get you a roommate. But don't stop there. Don't let Walmart be like your your last, you know, to go to. Like, okay, yeah, that's where you're starting off. Don't, don't let Walmart be your career job. If you don't want it to be your career job, I'm talking like promoting to like upper management or something like that. Then you don't, let, don't let it be your somewhere. career job. Let me tell you yeah, something. Yeah, you do. I started out in retail in a clothing store, Sheltonham Mall. It's a store that used to be called Gallo Clothing. Man, I wasn't making no money off of that, but she, she lying, y'all. I swear to God, she, lying, she was a drug dealer. I, <laughs> she, she, she was my bottom big back then. The really, <laughs> really, really, like, no. But I gave. I benefits. started out in retail, but at the, at the end of the day, it was like for me, I was tired. Like, no, I want more for myself. I always kept saying, I want more for myself. 
So yeah. y'all got to do the same yeah. thing. Like it was tiring for me too, bro. I can agree with her a little bit. So like the the average one bedroom apartment is nineteen hundred dollars. If you just if you a college kid, say you graduated from college. At 21, you're not getting the, it's hard to get a $75,000 job with no experience. So it's like, I do understand some of their points is like, yeah, stuff is way too high for them as entry level. Like there's not like the entry level salaries meet the requirements to live. But then I agree with y'all on the other side. If you're not at the point where you feel like, okay, this meets with you the way you want to live, then go find a way to mm -hmm. get some some kind of skill or some kind of experience or something and then move like the people know me that know me they know i have a 24 month limit if i'm at this job and in 24 months i didn't put in the, the work i didn't gain the skill i didn't took some kind of certification and got some extra knowledge and you have not acknowledged that i've done all that and you're going to pay me the way that i should be i'm out Cause I know that a raise outside of the organization is going to be, you know, could be 10, 15, maybe even 20% more. Whereas here, I'm only going to get a 3% raise. Mm -hmm. So if you ain't going to give me the raise that I deserve, I'm not just saying I need a raise cause I've been here. Just look at my work. When you do your, your year end review, look at the work I did through this mm -hmm. year. I I didn't meet expectation. I exceeded it. So where's my money? Oh, you don't have it. Cool. I'm, I'm, cool. I'm gonna be here. At the end of the day, I'm helping you, girl. When you getting all this money based on 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 my um, work, that's right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah, but that's that's the thing that they have to learn is like, hey, set some goals for yourself. Don't mm -hmm. just think, come here and think that just because you come and there's no disrespect to the retail workers and none of that. But like, how much you think you gonna get for stock and shelves? Mm -hmm. Any we can pick any Joe Schmo off the street to do this. So it's not a job that's very valuable it's, we appreciate it but it's not like it's going to change the outcome of this business so you could start there so listen I, I worked at mcdonald's i've worked at mcdonald's so everybody starts somewhere but you gotta be you gotta have a plan okay this is my time frame and if if you don't meet it then i go somewhere else so l boogie said she need to quit her blood clock crying <laughs> <laughs> we had to get two or more jobs when we needed to and we, yes we did you know I mean? yeah, let's give let me tell you something now, listen, to piggyback on that we didn't have stuff like i just was talking to uh like they even have online jobs now well, like I was she just can talking do that to during the day in the online job later like we have no online jobs I, I just was talking to t on the way here and i'm like yo i talked to this guy that did does toro and he showed me how much money he made. And I'm not saying that you got to go out and get a, a Hellcat or a Tesla or whatever, but save your money. Mm -hmm. All y'all want to do is make money and then go and out and spend it. it. Yep. Go save your money so you can invest in something. You could get something like a, a Cherokee that might cost you, you know, $400, $500 a month. But if you're renting it out every weekend it's for, paying for itself. $150 mm -hmm. a day in it's, two weeks and then pay for it. Right. So the other two weeks is money in your pocket. Listen, if you if you really want to make money, you can you can make money. Period. Yeah, stop, stop yeah. making excuses. Let's go to comment number one. Comment number one, join the military, put your time in, <laughs> learn a skill, and they'll educate you. Better than full-time full time at Walmart for minimum wage. Yeah. I think that, I think that right boy shook a nerve right there, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would never. I'm 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 very I would never tell anybody to go to the military. It's not my thing. <laughs> so I, I would stay, I wouldn't, you know, I ain't got no comment on that. But yeah, yeah. Uh, all the other stuff, yeah. Put in the time, learn some skills. Mm -hmm. There's a million different ways you could learn some skills and uh, then go apply in that industry. Yeah. Now listen, I when I was young, I wanted to join the military. My mom shut that shit down. No, none of my kids. She just was a, like, oh hell no. I, I, but I wanted son, to go to I wanted, wanted to, to go fly, to the Navy. I wanted to be a, a, a pilot. Yeah, my son. Yeah, they, he, they like, but we like, don't hey. get you a tall, goofy ass hell of out of here. <laughs> get send that boy to that dumb ass on the front line. <laughs> Listen, man, they did our old heads dirty in Vietnam, so man, yeah. I don't really believe in the whole military thing. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Let's go to comment number two. Look, I was just more so for it because it's like, okay, look, if you can do that, get paid and travel and get some more exposure. Like, I mean, I can only expose, especially now that he's 18. It's like, okay, I can only do but so much now because now that he's growing into a man of his own, now it's time for him to start, you know, learning things on his own. So, Comment number two. On average, this generation is doing worse than their parents. I don't think stocking shelves at Walmart was meant to be a career, though. 
Some companies will pay will pay for your your tuition while you work for them, like Verizon. Yeah, it's, it's quite a few companies, especially in Philadelphia. You got Temple that pay for college. You got Chop, mm-hmm. Children's Hospital, University of Pennsylvania. They pay for for your college. But here's my thing with that. UPS, they this, pay for college. So is, start somewhere. Some of them cool. jobs, they don't even reach back out to you. So I understand their point there. It's like, I do want to better myself. But these places don't, they don't, they're not, they don't, I haven't got that kind of job. So I understand in that in that sense. But again, yeah. that's where I say, go back and get some type of certification. Yeah. Or be, be creative. Go to them job fairs. Like try to try to put your best foot forward. If you just again sending a blind resume, you one of ten thousand people. So it's an, it's a you know. And this is another yeah. thing me and CJ was talking about because we was talking about the whole LinkedIn thing. They have LinkedIn. Listen. Like you can you can like really market yourself on LinkedIn. That's my spot. Well, you got listen. You got to get your ass out. Then you got to hustle. Right. Point blank. Got to hustle. Right. So comment number three. <laughs> this is a little harsh right here. Right. <laughs> then quit, get a better job, go back to school, or do something other than be yeah. <laughs> about your pathetic life. Damn. Just don't <laughs> quit before Damn. you find another Damn. job. Right. They go hard, boy. <laughs> find another job first, then you quit. Then you quit. Yes. Never quit before you get a replacement. Facts. <laughs> Just don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, yeah, yeah. Nah, we want, yeah. Because then you really be crying in the car on TikTok. Right. Like my grandma said, bird in hand is worth two in the bush. Right. <laughs> right. This joint podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. And subscribe. Tell us what you think. Yeah.